A cancer vaccine therapy from Moderna and Merck, which we've talked about quite a bit, uh, winning breakthrough designation from the FDA. And Meg Terrell joins us now with more. Hi, Meg. Hey, Joe. So uh, this is a medicine, uh, essentially, that would be for... Um, advanced melanoma. Uh, and what it does, it's a personalized cancer vaccine. And so they're actually uh, looking at the uh, resected melanoma uh, and personalizing the mRNA therapy uh, to each individual patient's uh, cancer. Uh, they've shown in a phase 2B clinical trial, which reported out in December and moved Moderna stock quite a bit, uh, that this could reduce the risk of the cancer recurring or of death by 44 percent when combined with Merck's Keytruda compared with Keytruda alone. So the news that came out yesterday the FDA has granted this breakthrough therapy designation, which essentially just increases the amount of communication that's happening between the companies, can potentially speed this drug getting to market. Now, this has been seen as a very important program for both Merck and Moderna. Moderna, because it potentially extends them beyond the COVID vaccines with their mRNA franchise, and Merck, because they lose patent protection starting in 2028 on Keytruda. This is a more than $20 billion product of their almost $60 billion in 2022 revenue, so it's incredibly important. Uh, and they've been receiving increasing scrutiny on how they're trying to sort of extend the tail of Keytruda patent protection. Uh, just yesterday, a letter sent by Senator Elizabeth Warren and other Democrats to the Patent Office urging scrutiny of how they are trying to extend the patent protection on this drug. This is reported by Reuters. Uh, one of the ways they're trying to do that is to change the formulation uh, from IV therapy to subcutaneous injection. Uh, so, guys, there's going to be increasing scrutiny on this drug, but from what Wall Street, there's been scrutiny on how do they keep the revenue from this. And this personalized cancer vaccine is seen as very important to that potentially. Guys. You, you would hope that when they use like adjuvant therapy, Meg, where they, they decide to test some of the new vaccines with different existing drugs, you would hope that a drug doesn't make it into important clinical trials just because it would be a way to extend the patent on the, on, on the original compound. I mean, I'm sure that's not the way it is, but you would think you could try this this uh, this new novel cancer vaccine, you could try it in conjunction with a lot of existing cancer. Why Keytruda? Keytruda is great, but but why Keytruda in this case does it seem to be so effective uh, with the Moderna uh, vaccine? That's a really great question. So the way uh, Keytruda works is essentially to uh, keep the cancer from being able to hide from the immune system. Uh, and so it's been an incredibly powerful drug. The way the Moderna personalized cancer vaccine works is it actually goes in there, at, you know, they find uh, specific targets on the cancer that's driving the melanoma and they design right. this mRNA vaccine uh, and deliver that. And so you teach the immune system to fight that specific cancer. Right. At the same time, the Keytruda is revealing the cancer to the immune system. Right. So that could be why PD-1s, which is this class of drugs, may work so well with this.